Hello everybody. Guess what? It's Thursday. You know what we do on Thursdays, right? We go bowling and put on some makeup. And today, I'm also going to be picking the winner of the Sephora $25 gift card winner that I was supposed to do on New Year's Eve because I forgot. Well, I gotta show you what I got. Look what I got. So I got a skincare fridge too. It's Coca-Cola. It should be Pepsi because I'm not a fan of Coca-Cola, but whatever, I'll take it. It's a skincare fridge and um, they're not very big, but I got all my Caudalies in there and some other things. But, so my fridge is right there, but I end up always putting my skincare on in the bathroom, so it's not cold. Because I don't put it on out here, and I'm like, kind of defeats the purpose. But you know what I have to do first, everybody? Is this it? Yes. My skin feels horrible. I don't know if you can see how dry it is, just like on my arm. And, oh my goodness, I am whacking the moisturizer oil on my face holy cow like I don't recall my skin being this dry um, over the summer you know and I had a tan over the summer we were at the water park all the time it went mild oh hello everyone my name is Lisa I'm from Toronto I forgot to say that if you're new to my channel but yeah like we were in the water park all the time this summer and I don't recall my skin being like this dry it almost feels like leather, so I'm really, really moisturizing it. What were we doing today? Oh. Well, I went to Sephora today and brought back uh, that Stellar Foundation and that Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, because the first one that I bought, because that was just really ashy. Um, and guess what I found out? Because you all know how much I love my Laritzi bronzer, right? And I have been tweeting and you know putting message on ColourPop to get them to make a, a, a stick bronzer and somebody's you know message made a comment going well they have foundation sticks and I'm like okay what planet was I on when ColourPop came out with foundation sticks I had no idea and of course I miss putting it in today just figured that out so um I believe Aaliyah said she was going to place an order with ColourPop. And it's like $7 for the foundation. is on sale because it's 25% off today. If you guys don't know that, ColourPop right now is having 25% off. It's just for today only from what I know. So, yeah, you want to, like, hook into that 25% off, right? Except for the two latest and newest palettes out. You know, they're not 25% off. Well, they are because they're... $14 each and they're being sold for $24 for two of them. So that's a, that's an okay deal. All right. So I went to Sephora and brought that back. And because the only foundation that I have right now to match my skin tone is that ColourPop, I grabbed some Guerlain. And last summer I used the shade 13. And it was great, but it's not working for me now. It's too light. So this time I got Natural Beige. What is she got like number three down? But that's not it. It's not number three. I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna put that on. And look what I got, everybody. I'm in love with you. I have been wanting this eyeshadow palette for so long. Miss Amy, you darling. Miss Amy had it, and she literally just got these two around Christmas time and when you know what I have a lot of palettes the same kind so she she was posting it for sale and she sent me a message and I went hello this is for me this is my heaven I've been wanting this eyeshadow palette for so so long so I don't know which one I'm gonna put on because I know I, I just love that double entendre I love those shades and this one here I've been wanting for so long. And I think for the longest time they only sold this at Ulta, but now they're selling it on ColourPop. Truly, madly, deeply. Wasn't that song? There's a song called Truly, Madly, Deeply. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? These three here are glitter shades. Glitter. I think you need a glitter glue for these three right here. Which, you know, I am not, putting, I am not being up in that today. Because I, I got no time for glitter. 
So that's what we're going to play with and um, have chat. Yes. Okay. What we're going to talk about. First, I want to talk about is look fantastic. So I sent um, Easy Clear a message telling them to send my box back. And I know I said that in my look fantastic video about the whole scandal of 2020. Um, so I sent them a message and I said, send my box back. Because for me, the items in the box, um, I wasn't like excited about. So I didn't mind the box going back. And I know I'm going to get a refund. So I sent them that email. And they wrote me back and said, fine, we'll do that. But you should probably get in touch with the company first. They have some suggestions. And I'm like, you still trying to get our money, eh? Like, you're just really still trying to get our money, Easy Clear. So I didn't bother answering it back. I just screenshot the email and I sent it uh, to Alice and Paige. So there's two girls I'm talking to on Twitter from Look Fantastic. And there was a new girl today. I don't know who she was. So I sent them that and I said, okay, like, I'm not paying the ransom. I know you're going to refund me. I'm not paying the ransom. You know, I told them to send it back. And so they said, once the box comes back, they're going to refund me. And I think um, that's what their solution is. If you want the box, pay the ransom, take a screenshot of your receipt, send it to look fantastic. And from what I've read from other people who've done it, they will refund you immediately. Like, like it's really fast that they refund you. You don't have to wait like seven days. Um, from what I heard, like the refund comes back pretty pretty quick. Uh, as well as when the box, you know, if you don't want the box and you tell them to send it back, then that box comes or that refund comes pretty quick. So that's what's happening with Look Fantastic. I think if you do nothing, they will just send the box back and you'll get refunded, right? So, um, either way, you know, if you want the box, play to refund, take a screenshot and you get refunded pretty much from what I've seen immediately. I don't want to say that's going to happen all the time because, you know, I could be wrong. Oh, I love girl Anne. But for me personally, the box was not, you know, overly exciting. Like a couple of the things that was in the box I've already gotten in either a previous Look Fantastic box or Glossy box. Because sometimes you get the same items, you know, in different months in those two boxes. Which, oh my god, don't even get me started on Glossy Box. That company. Ugh. So, um, yeah. So that's what you should do. You know, you choose either or, which way, whatever way you want to go. But that's how you're going to deal with Look Fantastic. And from what they've said, and I've had it told to me by Look Fantastic on multiple occasions... And I've read it being told to other people by Look Fantastic that they will not be continuing with Easy Clear. We will not be charged duties in February. So, kudos to you Canadian women because you know what? We made that happen. We didn't stand up and, you know, fight it out, right? And be like, come on, that's, that's not right. We made that happen. Nobody else... It was us Canadian women, you know, standing up for each other and going, yeah, that's not cool, man. And all of us did it together. So there is power in numbers. And let me tell you something. Again, like I said on my video, you want to make a difference with a company, take the money away. Once you take the money away, then, you know, that's when they uh, look up, right? And, you know, be like, oh, now that we have your attention fix this, you know, so, and that's exactly what we did, and what happened, so, kudos to all of you ladies, so let me know in the comments down below, what did you all decide to do, like, uh, I know some people decided to pay the ransom and got their money back, some people are deciding they don't want the box, because it's not, some of the items in the box are just, you know, not too happy about, or they got already, or, you know, won't use, so they're just letting it be sent back and be refunded. So let me know what did you guys decide in the end to do. And um, I'm still with them for February. I really believe that I don't think we'll ever be charged duties again. You know what I mean? Um, not for the beauty box anyway. So I do believe them when they say that they're not, you know, this company is gone. They fired this company and um, we won't be charged duty fees in February. Like, pray to God and Lord, I hope so, right? Because 
Can you imagine a drama? Holy. But yeah, so let me know. Because I know a lot of girls had canceled because of this. Before, and that was before I know we found out like they were actually going to do something and they started paying attention and I'm telling you that chat on look fantastic They did not get the memo at first. They were still arguing about it You know, and then I guess they finally got the memo because now if you go on chat They tell you the same thing that I'm saying here. You know what I mean? But for the longest time they would just send that message about you know countries charging duties so they finally got the memo. Anyways, I learned through this whole experience, if I have a problem with Look Fantastic, I'm just going on Twitter. Because, you know, they didn't give me that whole spiel about duties and countries and stuff like they did on the Look Fantastic website. Because they just didn't know, you know? And I, you know, they just didn't get the memo. They didn't know. They're just reading off from a script. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, if I have a problem again, I'm going through Twitter. And, you know, I find that with some companies, too, you know, like, Ipsy, the same thing. If I have, I'm trying to cover up my red nose. If I, and I'm putting on a lot of foundation. I know you guys are going, Lisa, you're putting on a lot of foundation. But, I think the color is working perfectly. Yep, perfectly. Beautiful. But I don't understand she got shade number three, and I know it's not shade number three. Okay, not so red now. I think I kind of look more tanned now than I looked like a completely whacked out skin tone. So, um, Ipsy, that's another company. Like, if I need something from Ipsy, I tweet at Ipsy Care because sometimes that email, you know, I just find that some of those people don't know some stuff sometimes. So, I find that if I tweet at Ipsy Care, I get a much better response and a faster response. So that always works out okay. Oh, Ipsy, uh, did you guys get this email? I got an email from Ipsy saying they're sending me an extra gift this month. And you had to either accept it, accept the gift, or decline it, which was weird. Who's going to decline a free gift, right? Especially if you're subscribed. You know, and it, ha it was nothing like... If you resubscribe, you get a free gift. It wasn't anything like that. It was just, we want to show our appreciation. We're sending you a free gift. Accept or decline. And I'm like, hell yeah, I'll be accepting that free gift. You know, especially after last month, right? So, the, but nothing happened after that. You press accept and no page opens up or anything like that. It just goes away. And I didn't get an email about it, so... I'm sure we'll get something in our February bag. Like, I wonder what that gift is going to be, you know. I'm like, okay, you know, if you want to, you can send me that makeup for um, the Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette that's going to be in the ultimate boxes that we can't get here in Canada. You know, that's a nice gift. You can send that to me. I'm not going to cry about that. And I was wondering, since that eyeshadow palette, because I don't know how much it is, right? Um, and it's like... Marlena's old brand, even though they're still selling it, and I believe you can get it in Target. I don't some targets in the states, not all of them, some of them. I don't know if you can get those eyeshadow palettes there, but because I've never been there. Anyway, if you're in the states and you're watching me, and you've been to Target where they have the Makeup Geek, can you get those two eyeshadow palettes in certain targets in the states that they have um, on Ipsy right now for the premium bag? Because I know you're able to pick one or the other. So, wouldn't it be nice to, like, have that as a gift? But I was wondering, is that going to be $18 add-on? Because I don't know what the price is, right? Because we have the $3 add-on, which is usually deluxe sizes. I mean, sometimes you get, like, a full-size highlighter for 3 bucks or a full-size lipstick for 3 bucks. Like, there's some really good things that you can get for $3. Remember that. When you're buying the $3 add-on, which is, you know, about $5 Canadian, when you're buying it, have a look and see if you can tell what size the product is because I don't think if it's three bucks I, I probably wouldn't go for it this size but you know if it's a big size with something yeah I'm all in you know for three bucks why not that's why I always go for brushes because we've gotten some amazing brushes from Ipsy I was going to use a different concealer today and what was it was I going to use this? Yes, I was going to use this because of my tan. Let's see. 
Okay, that looks all right. I like this pretty vulgar concealer. I, well, I've only tried it a couple of times, but look, I got gook in my eyes. There we go. I like this um, pretty vulgar concealer. I don't have any issues with it. For those of you who got this in your BoxyCharm, let me know what did you think? Do you like it? I like it. It's. I almost wonder if it's too much of my, I got gook in my eyes. Get out. I almost wonder if it's too much of my um, skin tone right now with the foundation on. Like, do I look like it brightened up my eyes? Except for the bags. I always got bags and I don't know how to get rid of, how do you guys get rid of the bags and on your eyes? Cause they're always there. And sometimes in some of my videos, like they look like a swimming pool, they're so big. But I always have them. Bags. Or would you call it dark circles? I don't know. Why am I putting on more of this? I think I'm putting on more of this because I can't quite tell if I got it on or not. Okay. So, yeah, so that's what I discovered. Tweet look fantastic um, at Ipsy Care for Ipsy. Now, BoxyCharm, on the other hand, I don't know what to do about that company because their customer service, I mean, it needs improvement. I don't know. You can tweet them. You can Facebook message them. You can email them, Instagram them, but you don't hear back. Like I send them tweets and messages all the time. I never hear back from that company ever. They never say anything. They don't, even if you make a comment on one of their posts, it's real hard to get a like, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you about BoxyCharm. Their customer service, let me tell you. Mm -mm. Oh, I sent them a message because the, I picked the Becca Foundation as my choice for February. And I did my card. You know, I sent in what my actual shade would be, right? Because it wasn't on the card. And then they came back with the choice when you had the, the February choice to pick. They came back with it, and the shade that's my shade wasn't on there, so I had to pick another shade. And then I sent them an email saying, you know, my shade wasn't on there, and what you're sending me back is like a, a beige, right? It might work now with my tan, but, you know, my regular looking skin is way too dark. So, I need blush. Everybody. Right. Where are all my blushes gone, everybody? I don't know where they are. And I have the most awesome... Is this a, oh, I like this brush, a Ciate blush, I like it. I just said brush, didn't I? I can't speak, right? I did my concealer, I did my thing. Why do I feel like I'm missing a step? And it's only 18 minutes and you don't have your eyeshadow on yet and you didn't pick a winner, fabulous. Um, so I sent an email about that foundation, like the one that they came back and said, congratulations, it's been confirmed, you're getting this foundation shade. And I said, it's not my foundation shade, but it, you know, it was the only one there in choice that, you know, I could pick, right? Because the other ones just was really bad. <clears throat> and, you know, on my profile, I got written down my foundation shades. And um, I sent you in an email already with that foundation shade for Becca. And they wrote, I'm like, can you fix it for me? No. You picked your shade? Too bad, so sad. You know, get over it. That's pretty much the email. It was straight up, no. You know, we can't change your shape. No. So then I sent them an email back with a picture of that teenage mascara that we got in our box. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I sent them a picture of, I'm going in with my IBY highlighter because I don't think we have a new one. I need a new highlighter. I haven't had a new highlighter in a while. I'm hoping I get a new highlighter, my Ipsy. I'm thinking... Because, um, I can get this open, Look Fan is going to send back that money. I'm thinking I might take that and get a second Ipsy bag because I really do like what's coming out in February so far. So, and I mean, if I get doubles of the stuff I like, I'm not going to be upset if it's, you know, stuff I like. And they had some nice choices. What did everyone choose for Ipsy Choice, by the way? I chose a foundation, but I was stuck between the four eyeshadow quad and the brush and the pure foundation and I picked the foundation and I'm praying I can get that brush as an add-on. So anyways, I sent BoxCharm the email with a picture of 
got teenage mascara all lumpy and clumpy and gross. And I was like, dude, I'm 45 years old. What do I want to do with a 45? Why are you giving me a 45, you know, uh, or why are you giving me at 45 a teenage mascara? Like, come on, really, right? You know what I mean? 80% of your subscribers are over the age of 20. That's for sure, you know? So, and then I sent a picture of the concealers. And now, there was no choice with concealers. You had to do your profile. On my profile is written NARS Vanilla. Oh, I wanted to use a Morphe concealer. That's what I wanted to use. Ah, yeah, so NARS Vanilla is what's written as my um, concealer shade. And then I think I got another light shade in something else, like a, a vanilla shade, right? So I sent them that picture. And I sent another picture with the NARS concealer shade on my, swatched on my hand with this one. And going, can you see the difference? You know, like there's such a big difference, you know, and then I just sent a picture of those two with this circle. This is my shade. This is not my shade. And I'm like, so you guys messed up on that. And you're telling me that we can't work this out. Like you can't ding ding on a computer somewhere, find my name and my email and switch the foundation shade. I'm like, that's crappy service. I think that is crappy customer service. It's not like the boxes are sent out. You know what I mean? I just think that's crappy customer service that you cannot even attempt to say that we will try at least to say, okay, you know what? We don't know if it's going to happen, but we will try. You know what I mean? Just a straight up, no, not happening. Sorry. Flip you pretty much, right? I was like, okay, you little dirty buggers. So yeah, that's what I wrote on back. And I'm like, I think that is crappy, crappy. I want to use up my old one. Where is my old one? This one. I'm putting on my promies everything is now 22 minutes good golly this video is going to have 40 minutes no I hope not Miss Lorenda will like it though and Miss Sherry thank God I have you ladies who keep on telling me that you don't mind long videos so yeah so in that email like I wasn't rude in the email and I actually wrote in the email in my email I wrote Please don't get me wrong. I know the person that is reading this email right now. You pretty much work customer service for minimum wage. You, you don't win a minimum wage. You don't get paid enough to put up with this crap, you know, and I don't want you to think that I'm taking this out on you. I'm not taking this out on you. Please forward this email to Joseph himself. And I went laugh it loud like that's going to happen. But, um, you know, I had on an email going, you work in customer service. I know that you have nothing to do with how things get run in the company. You know, you're working your minimum wage job, nine to five, just wanting to come home. And, you know, I'm sure he gets some really, he or she gets some really nasty emails that they have to read every day. You know what I mean? So in my email, I was like, listen, I don't want you to take this email personally because it's not you. You know, I know you're not running the company, right? And I find with BoxyCharm, you have to email them back because your first response whenever you email them is always a bot. And half the time, <laughs> it's a bot. They don't read your emails. They check for keywords and send back an email that they think coincides with those keywords. That's what they do. It's a bot. So then I had to send back another email going, okay, so can somebody not... You know, please no more bots actually read my email because what you sent back don't make sense compared to my email, you know? And then you get someone to actually pay attention and you get a name. But that first email from BoxyCharm, it's always a bot. Always. It's a standard email and they just pick out, you know, every email that comes in, I think they just pick out the keywords and send you back something. Anyway, so that's why when I wrote back, I'm like, listen, I'm not, I don't, you know, not crapping on the person, the poor, you know, teenage or 20 year old or whoever that's reading this email right now, sitting at that desk reading my second email, not my first, my second, um, just pass it along, you know, pass it along to whoever it needs to go to, you know what I mean? Because I know that you can't do anything about it, right? Oh, double and trone. Yes, you are my 
Uninhibited, you are my sunshine. Oh, hello, ColourPop. Would you like some shimmery payoff? Sure, this is the way a palette should work, like that boom bang parang. What are you, like 12 bucks US? I mean, seriously, right, ColourPop? So, um, I don't know what shade I'm gonna use though. So, yeah, that's BoxyCharm. I'm still waiting for an answer. I didn't hear back yet. And I think I said something like, or is it now that you have, you know, a million, over a million subscribers and they have over a million subscribers that you really don't give a crap about customers anymore because you're making your money. And for every customer that cancels, there's a new one joining. You know what I mean? So where, why do they need customer service? They're making their money anyway, you know? And they always get it wrong. Oh my God, like Miss Sherry. God, what did Miss Sherry get? Uh, something for your face. I don't know if it was a powder or something for your face anyways. And Miss Sherry is, you know, her skin is like this, just like me, right? And she got a really, really dark shade. I'm like, come on, what are you doing? You know, and then everybody else, oh, was it the concealer? Or she got a really, really dark um, shade and concealer. And then another one, the girls I know, who's, you know, her skin is dark and she got a really, really light concealer. Like, seriously, get it right. You know, and I don't know. Customer service is crappy. I'm telling you, the one company that I like for their customer service, now I know some people, you know, might have a different feeling, but for me personally, I like Tribe because you can just email them unless they are, you know, away on holidays, you pretty much get an answer back and somebody, other than a bot is reading your email. You know what I mean? At least somebody that's not a bot is reading your first email so you don't have to get all frustrated and send back a second one, you know, and ask that a, <laughs> no more bots. But what the heck is on my eyeball there? Do I have a lump? I got a lump on my eye. Yeah, a lump. Do you guys have lumps on your eyelids? I got a lump on my eyelid. And I got another one right there. It's like they come and go. Uh, sign of old age, I guess. What do you call those lumps? I know it's something. I can't remember. Anyway, so I went in Sephora today to bring that stuff back and get that little thing. Oh, gentle Lord. Was I planning on going in with that? This is called Extra Circular. Extra Circular. <sighs> Yummy. Oh, my husband took me out for crab legs today at the Captain's Boil. It was so good. For lunch, we snuck away for lunch, and Sephora is like just right across the street, so that was good stuff. And I swear to God, I don't know if it was because I was absolutely starving, but I think today was like the best I've ever had there. I ate it all, like ate it all up. It was so good. And now we're going to bowling, and I'm gonna be starving and bowling, and I don't really want bowling food. So I'll probably end up having chicken fingers and fries or something like that. Because, oh, we didn't cook. We not to cook today. Thank God tomorrow is Friday. Thank God you are. Oh my God, we're 28 minutes in and I'm just putting this here on. Okay, I'm going to make this quick. Does anyone have any plans for the weekend? Remember, I will be going live on Saturday night. Saturday night, 8 o'clock, everyone. Live. We'll have a chat about what's going on in the world. Um, what else did I want to talk about? So yeah, I went into Sephora today and I was going to get a sample of that new Bite Beauty foundation. And the girl who was helping me pick out um, the Guerlain foundation, the little sample that I got right now, and I'm hoping like that's enough and my Tade fans or my, my tan will fade soon enough, right? So... I was said to her, she goes, do you want anything else? And I said, well, I was thinking about trying um, the new Bite Beauty Foundation. And she said, well, it's really like a tinted moisturizer. Because we were already, ta already talking about how I wanted to cover up some of my freckles and have my skin tone come out even, right? And she goes, it's really more of a tinted moisturizer. And I'm like, oh, is it really? And she, you know, this is Sephora girl. Very honest. Love it. She said, honestly, she said, um, Unless you're just using it for that. She goes, it says that you can build it up as a foundation. She said, but every single time I tried to put it on somebody's face to build it up, 
It just looks really, really cakey. And I went, okay, well, forget about that then. I don't want a tinted moisturizer. I want a foundation. And, like, I like a light to medium coverage, a natural coverage of a foundation. And I haven't really quite found a tinted moisturizer that makes me want to go, okay, no more foundation. I love this tinted moisturizer, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you prefer a, a tinted moisturizer? What do you use? Now, mine saying all of that, there's not many tinted moisturizers that I've actually tried either to make me go, ooh, this is awesome. You know what I mean? So let me know in the comments below, what do you use? Do you use a tinted moisturizer, you know, or are you like a foundation girl? And if you do use a tinted moisturizer that you absolutely love, from where? Where is it from? What's your skin tone? Is it dry? Is it, you know, oily? Let me know what works for you, right? Blend this in a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna go in with the shimmer because I gotta do that draw. You guys are like, Lisa, shut up. Um, okay, I'm going in with Keep It PG. Should I, or should I go in with the shimmer from Truly Madly Deeply? Oh, I think I might go in with Sweet Dreams from Truly Madly Deeply. Guys, let me know if, it's this one right here. Can you see it? Let me know if you want me to do a video on Truly Madly Deeply. Yep, this is me. This is my nude look. This is how I jam. Crackers, what's the time? 31 minutes. Okay, as soon as I get my mascara on, actually, I might just turn this camera off, put on my mascara, and get ready to make my um, Sephora gift card draw. And there's only three people in the draw. So, ladies, you got one out of three chances to win. And for my January Sephora draw, I already have the winner for that. And that winner is, oh, look what I just did with that palette. Um, Miss Roxanne from Roxy's Boxies, she guessed it. So she's the winner for the $25 um, gift card for January. So um, she'll be getting her gift card at the end of January. Because Roxanne, that's when I get paid. Girl, that's when I get paid, okay? So, yeah. So the three or the four palettes that I took to Jamaica with me were. And... Do you guys, like, a lot of you guys guessed the brand. You had the brand down pat, but um, no one told me what the palette was called. So Roxanne put in a thousand guesses, and she guessed it. So I brought the Natasha Denona Nude, of course. And I brought the Ofra Madison Miller, because it made sense, right? Two highlighters and a blush. And I brought ColourPop, and now not a lot of people, Roxanne guessed it. Look, I got that shade down here, and I just messed it up. And it was, it's not kick or fallout from actual ColourPop. It's me, the way I put it on. I'll fix that up in a minute, like right here. Um, what else did I get? Oh, yeah, so Ofra Madison Miller, Natasha Denona, um, my mini nude. I brought Natasha Denona Glam, the new one that she brought out, and I also brought ColourPop Whatever. And a lot of people did not guess ColourPop Whatever. They guessed ColourPop California Love, I Think I Love You, Brown Sugar. And I know a lot of people were like, she's definitely going to bring her brown sugar. And, you know, I didn't want to bring it because I love that palette and because, you know, it costs a lot of money to ship. Like, if it broke, it costs a lot of money to ship it, to order it from ColourPop again and get it here. So that's why I was like, okay, I can bring my Natasha Denona because if that breaks, I can get it from Sephora again. You know what I mean? And I'll bring my Madison Miller Ofra because I've seen a lot of people selling it on Facebook. Now, I wanted to bring a ColourPop and, you know, whatever isn't, it's one of my favorite palettes, but it's not my favorite palette. It's not, I think I love you in ColourPop or Double Entrande, which I just got today, which is going to be one of my favorites, you know, or like Brown Sugar. It's not one of those, 
So, but I wanted to bring a color pop, and I'm like, oh. And the, one of the other reasons why I brought it to you was the color. There was some pinks in there. So that's um, one of the reasons. Okay, I'm going to put my mascara and my lipstick on, come back, and we're going to draw the winner. Hello. Oh, yeah, I should probably take my hair down. So um, what I got on my lips is that floss shade that we got in Top Box. What was this? This was JFK. And I just lip line my lips with my Milani Spice. What else is new? And uh, yeah, put that on my lips. And it's really creamy. It doesn't feel sticky like a lip gloss. I don't like lip glosses because they always feel sticky and your hair gets stuck in it. But this one, I like this one. Like it. Okay. The three people, and I'm going to write their names down, was um, WPG Girl. She got her friend Sadie Jane to subscribe. So she's going to go in the bag. So WPG Girl. There we go. Then we had um, Candice. She got her friend Alex Hart to surprise to subscribe. I'm gonna read down Candice. Candice is shining star, shining star soup. And the last one I believe was Kayla, Miss Kayla Schofield. Kayla S. E L G. Okay, so there is Kayla's name and Candace Shining Star Soup and Miss WPG Girl. So I'm gonna roll these up and put them in my bag. And um, whoever wins wins a $25 Sephora gift card. So you have until next Thursday. I'm gonna give it a week. You have till next Thursday to send me a message, say hi. I'm so happy I won. And then with your email, and I'll send you the gift card. So, baby, you're going to pick the winner for me? Baby's going to pick the winner. I'm only 37 minutes. Maybe we got to hurry up. Okay, so all three are in. Make sure you see it. Like, all three are in. And Ian's going to pick a winner. Come here. Pick a winner. Ian is going to pick a winner. Who wins? Who wins? It's going to be Kayla Schofield. You won my $25 for a gift card. Um, please, you got a week to get in touch with me next Thursday. If I don't hear from you by then, then I'll pick, you know, someone out of the other two. Just say hi under this video or under any video. Hi, Lisa. I'm so happy I won under this video. Yeah, it makes sense. Under this video. Hi, Lisa. So happy I won. Here's my email. And I'll email you the Sephora e-gift card for $25. That's it, everyone. Don't forget to like my video. And remember, February month is going to be mini month. We're doing our minis. We're playing with our minis. We're getting rid of them. I love you.